Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Quest 3. In the last episode, Daisy and Sirius ran for their lives to escape from the wolf pack that they were attempting to infiltrate. Their mission was kind of a success. Ah, Sirius is letting us know, okay. You looking for a howl from us too? I mean, I guess we do deserve it. Sirius was able to get out with plenty of scrapes and bruises, but he's still alive. We figured that was probably a nice gift from the Guardian Moose. So Daisy is definitely going to keep an eye out for the Moose of the Valley now. She knows she has to repay them somehow, because if not for the Guardian Moose, then she would have been all alone again. Someday both of them do intend to go back to the Junction Pack. Someday both of them do intend to get the revenge on the wolves who chased them away. But today, we have a bit of a different situation on our hands. It just so happens that while these two were away, a coyote pack actually moved in. The coyotes have infiltrated their home now, so we have to track them down. Let's see if we can pick up their scent again. Well, there's the scent of a grizzly bear on the breeze. That's never a good sign, Sirius. I think I do see those green dandelion puffs in the distance out here, though. It looks like it's actually going toward one of the carcasses. Is that the same carcass that we passed on our way through? Yeah, the elk cow carcass. So it could just be at the coyotes of- oh! Oh, a fox. Oh, serious. You are rearing and ready to go, aren't you? You must be feeling much, much better. He just completely chased that fox right out of our territory. So that's probably all that this was? Let's see, yeah. That's just a fox. So... What happened to all of those coyotes that we saw before? Do you think they're hiding from us? There's something else over here, let's see. Oh no, that's a cougar? Oh my gosh, are the grizzly bears and the cougars actually fighting over this kill over here? Maybe we should investigate this too. Our main concern is going to be the coyotes today. But let's just make sure there's nothing that we have to chase out as well. Daisy isn't taking any more chances after Sirius's last brush with a bear. The cougars are a little bit different, though. I mean, we have actually seen a cougar rushing through the valley before. The cougar was chasing the dream deer, if I remember correctly. Are these mule deer in the distance? Yeah, doe mule deer. You know, that could be a pretty good thing for us to catch together, Sirius. It's not quite as dangerous as the elk. Oh my gosh, was that a big resounding yes? Did you see that? Wait a second, we have to do a little play bow too. We'll get ourselves all pumped up and raring to go as well, since Sirius seems to be in such good spirits. But you let me know the moment that you start to feel fatigued, okay? Daisy is going to be keeping an eye on you. If you start to feel tired, then we are definitely going to find a place to rest. So let's just go ahead and pick one of these mule deer, I guess? Let's go for this one right here. This would probably be a pretty good way for us to hopefully track down the coyotes, too. If the grizzly bears don't get involved, then the coyotes will definitely swoop in on the kill. We've landed one good bite so far, Sirius. Let's see if we can catch up to her again. If we could maybe get her from the front. Oh, Daisy's getting so tired. She's not going to be able to hold on for very long, but at least she's going to slow her down. There we go, but don't run her straight into the moose, okay? I'm pretty sure that moose is still down there with her calf. Or was that the guardian moose? Yeah, you know, that might actually be the bull moose. Oh my goodness, the great bull moose. We passed you when we were coming through before, didn't we? Gosh, I don't really know if it's a good idea for us to take down this mule deer right in front of the guardian moose. We should probably try to steer her in a different direction. Hang on, Sirius. Oh my gosh, Sirius. Oh, the guardian moose is not happy. I guess you get to live another day because the moose is not having it. Yeah, there's so much activity out this way. Let's go toward that carcass. Let's see who's waiting over here for us. Something tells me it's probably that cougar, so maybe that's what we're meant to chase out instead. Maybe that was just a very, very gentle reminder from the moose. Looks like there's a danger afoot. Oh, did you hear something? Oh, looks like he's coming over here to maybe munch on a little bit of this elk carcass. That's probably a good idea, actually. Let's go ahead and take our fill, too. Come on, Daisy, there's enough for you as well. There we go. I know that Sirius is probably very, very hungry. You are just doing your best to give him the first pickings. 
but we don't want you to exhaust yourself either. If you're too tired to go on, then who's going to protect Sirius? He is a pretty big troublemaker, even more so than you are. Are you starting to get tired, buddy? All right, it looks like it might be time to rest. Right out in the open field like this, are you sure? That seems a little bit dangerous, but if this is where you want to go to sleep, then I guess we're going to have to go with it. No dreams today, either. Daisy actually did have a dream very recently, though. It was something about howling out to the full moon. It ended on a bit of an ominous note, though, as all of her dreams tend to. The fire, of course. It makes me wonder if fire is going to play a very big role in her future. Are you still tired? It must be because of that hot sun. See, Sirius, this is why I thought maybe you would prefer to go into the forest. Maybe we could come up here, though? Wasn't this about where one of those springs were? Oh, you know what? Let's not forget. Any coyotes this morning? No coyotes, but... That's the scent of another wolf, isn't it? Oh, don't tell me they followed us all the way here. Okay, those female dispersal wolves, and it looks like a fox may have walked past us while we were sleeping. Probably all the better for the fox, to be honest. Sirius doesn't seem to like them too much. The female dispersal wolf still has me very, very concerned, though. Do you think there may be scouts for the junction pack? Maybe we should check it out. Let's go down this way. At the very least, we could probably see if maybe they know anything about the coyotes around here. Is that a moose, too? It's not the guardian moose, that's for sure. Yeah, it looks like it might actually be a female moose. So we have a lot of moose wandering around this territory, don't we, Sirius? It goes to show that this was the perfect place for us to choose. Alright, so do you see those wolves in the distance? The scent is a little bit closer this way. It actually looks like it might be leading straight back into the forest, so... They could very well be some sort of scouts. This was the direction that we came in, after all. Maybe they're following our scent. Oh, and there is such a confusing web of scents out here to begin with. Those mule deer, of course, but we'll have to leave those alone. Maybe the elk herd out here would be a better meal for us. I wonder if maybe the female wolves are right on the other side of this herd? Because it looks like the herd may have been practicing their dance moves out here again. You know, look at all these hoof prints out there. I can see those mule deer running in the distance too. Following the elk herds, there they are. Yeah, but still no sign of those female dispersal wolves? Yeah, I don't see a single yellow paw print on the ground. Okay, there's those dandelion puffs. Off this way, then? Yep, that's still the same scent. Alright, Sirius, we're getting closer now. Ooh, there we go. Are those their tracks? Yes, female dispersal wolves. Three hours and thirty minutes ago. It looks like they went off this way. Hopefully this is the right direction. This seems to be where their paw prints are pointing toward. Yep, the timer's definitely going down. Oh, were they chasing after the bunnies again? Oh, Daisy, the bunnies always seem to lead you in the right direction. Alright, so let's see where these ladies are hiding. They're definitely deep, deep in the forest over here. Are they actually over by the creek? Is this where the stream starts? Oh my gosh, they cross the creek too? They are definitely following us. They are definitely trying to tail us. Oh my gosh, Sirius. Here we were going to be fighting the coyotes today, and instead it seems like we're going to have to chase out these wolves that are invading our land. They might even cross into a different pack's territory in the process. If we're not careful, we're going to end up right inside your family's old home. They are definitely hardy travelers, too. It looks like they've traveled a very, very long distance to get to us. Oh my gosh! What are all of these paw prints? Is that a different pack? Did they, like, converge with somebody else? A male dispersal wolves? Wait a second, Sirius. Do we have, like, a full-on invasion on our hands? Look at all of those paw prints. Oh my gosh, I cannot even believe it. And there's green ones mixed in, too. Are those the foxes? Oh my gosh, wait a second. Oh, there they are. 
dark as night. They almost look like you, Sirius. Who do we have on our land here? Should we maybe give them a warning growl? Maybe that would be a good idea? Show them that we don't really appreciate them being in our land. There you go, Daisy. You show them who's boss around here. We know what you're up to, Mr. Shadow. He doesn't really seem too convinced, does he? If anything, it seems like the fight meter is going up when we growl. That makes sense, though. Oh. Okay. Feigning an attack, I see. Maybe we should do the same, then. Give him a nice good bite on the back here. There we go, Sirius. Prospect Peak. All right, it looks like this is one of the females, then. So... Was the Junction Pack actually hiring these, like, dispersal wolves to help scout out for our pack? Interesting. We're going to have to keep that in mind. We have Prospect Peak. That actually sounds a little bit familiar, too. Did we know any Prospect Peak wolves? Maybe just in passing? Maybe they were even the sisters who were running circles around us before. <laughs> now it turns out there were spies all along. It looks like we might have her on the run now. Yeah, she is definitely fleeing for her life. You go back to the junction pack and tell them you failed your mission. We never let her back home, so we should be safe and sound, Sirius. Safe and sound to go back to the Shadow Den? Oh my gosh. That is not a wolf. Oh, is that a cougar? Did she just lead us straight into the cougar? Oh my gosh, Sirius. This is even worse than I suspected. Well, let's give this cougar a little threatening growl, too. How did the Junction Pack get a cougar to work with them? Oh, is she on the run now? Oh, we better chase after her then. Be careful, though, Sirius. Be careful. It looks like she's pretty scared. Maybe if we give her a nice quick nip? A quick nip on the back, that will be enough to chase her off. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. That just seems to be getting her angry. Okay, Sirius. If we can work together like this. Be careful of those claws, though. Oh, she is so, so quick. As long as Daisy can take the brunt of the damage, though. She can sustain a little bit more than you can at this point. Oh, that was a pretty heavy hit, though. Sirius, I don't know if this is going to work. It seems like the more we bite her, the more she just wants to bite us. It's like the opposite of what most of the predators do in this game. Oh, Sirius, be careful. I don't like you taking those attacks. You know, we might actually have to turn and run. Oh, she is furious now. Do you think we could get just one more bite from behind them? One more good bite? If we could just get her down to half health, then maybe she wouldn't come back. Maybe she would realize that it's not worth it to help the Junction Pack with their troubles. Oh, Sirius, we're going to have to run. Now Daisy is getting too hurt. Come on, Sirius. Come on, buddy, I don't think we have a choice. Now this truly means war, though. Gosh, it almost makes me wonder if those coyotes that we smelled before was just some sort of distraction. Something to cause us to turn a blind eye to the creatures sneaking into our land. Not only the female dispersal wolves and the male ones too, apparently. We never actually found them. But even cougars. If the Junction Pack has truly found a way to call on cougars to take us down, then we have one serious situation on our hands. So, you know what, Sirius? I think it's going to be time for us to do some serious training. I would say in the next episode we could go straight back to the Junction Pack, but I don't really think we're ready for that yet. Daisy has learned from this battle with the cougar that she's not exactly up to par. If they're going to have all sorts of wolves bearing down on them from all sides, then we have to make sure they're not going to get you injured. So after we have Daisy rest up, maybe stop over here for a quick drink. We'll have to figure out a good way for them to truly train for this battle. We could, of course, have them go after some elk and whatnot. Maybe try taking down something other than the cow elk this time. We could go for one of the calves since the mothers are so tricky to dodge. Or we could really test our luck with one of the bull elk. I'm still going to keep my nose to the ground for those coyotes, too. That would be another excellent way for us to sharpen our battle skills. If we could somehow take down every last one of the coyotes haunting this land, that would sure be a big help. No mule deer, though, Sirius. You know what the Guardian Moose said. The mule deer, for whatever reason, are off-limits. Probably because the mule deer are actually working with the moose, too. 
the dream deer comes to mind first. Wait a second, is that? Oh my gosh. Is it that actually the coyote pack? I'm pretty sure that's just the fox that walked past us. Oh my goodness, those serious way off in the distance by that carcass. Are you the pack of thieves that Daisy fought before? Oh, this is actually some really, really bad timing. Not to mention, it looks like there's actually a grizzly bear out there. Did that grizzly bear just go to sleep? I guess he's not concerned with the battle about to rage right over the hill over here. Sirius, we have to chase them away. We have to show them that they can't just walk into our territory like this. Can we even bite you? Oh, there we go. For some reason, the icon didn't show up. All right, Sirius. I know it's been a busy day, but we have one more battle to finish. If we leave now, then these coyotes might not be here when we get back in the morning. So let's make sure that we chase them away once and for all. Considering that these coyotes are actually trying to steal one of the elk carcasses around here, it really makes me think it must be the very same pack that Daisy met at the beginning of her journey. But now she has help on her side too, and I don't think they were expecting to meet Sirius today. We've actually almost got this coyote right here too. He's almost done. Oh, watch my back, Sirius. Daisy is still pretty injured from that cougar after all, so we don't want her taking too much damage. Thankfully, coyote bites don't really hurt too much. But if we're not careful, all of those little nips and scratches could add up quickly. Oh, this one's on the run now, but we are so, so close to taking her down. Oh, the pack is right behind her too. Come on, Daisy. Just take down one of the coyotes at least, and then I'm sure the others are probably going to run away. Oh, she's so tired. It's so hard for her to keep up. And it looks like the fox is actually trying to distract her, too. Don't tell me the foxes are getting involved in this now. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Take down the leader, and then you can rest peacefully tonight. Yes, there you go, Daisy. You thieves run away. Run straight into the junction pack and steal their food instead. Oh, Sirius, what a day today has been. Not only have we discovered that we apparently have spies in our midst, scouts creeping through that dark forest trying to find the shadow den, but we have cougars working for the junction pack, or at the very least we have cougars out for our blood now. And the pack of thieves are never far, it seems, so we have a lot of work to do in the next episode. Let me know if you guys can think of any good ways that we could potentially train our pack too. Train them for the battle ahead with the junction pack. And do you see? Maybe we could actually find that carcass that those coyotes were trying to eat? If we could hunt that down, that would be a pretty good thing. For you to indulge in no serious no 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 no. We are not doing this again. We are not going through this a second time. We're just gonna leave that grizzly bear alone, thank you very much. So much for that meal. Yeah, that's why that grizzly bear was just lazing over there by the hill. He was waiting for us to chase away the coyotes so he could have a free lunch. Well, tell some of the grizzly bear is not something that Daisy is too willing to get involved in. She has enough on her plate today as it is. So let me know if you guys can think of any good little training games that Daisy and Sirius could go through. But for now, we're just going to go back to the Shadow Den over here and maybe curl up for a nice good rest. Sirius and Daisy have definitely earned it. So for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!